I'm Russ Bedner, owner operator of Bedner's Farm and Greenhouse in Cecil. And today we're here to talk about gardening for wet areas or even rain gardening. Different things to consider when you're looking at different plants for wet areas in your landscape. Do you have standing water or do you have an edge around your pond? Or do you just wanna help reduce the water mitigation that comes off of your roof or your hardscape surfaces in your landscape? We can talk about just the different plants that you can put in the wet conditions in your landscape. A great benefit to having these water-loving plants is the filtration that they will give to your runoff water. Some of the plants include, on the perennial side, daylilies, monarda is another nice perennial. It has different colors of flower. Irises are great. Swamp milkweed is great. It's also a great pollinator. Some ground covers to consider would be sweet woodruff or gallium. It has a really nice white flower on it and it spreads very quickly. Lismachia has a nice chartreuse color and it spreads very quickly as well. And then on the shrub side, we have aronia, which this is just starting to leaf out, but it has a very nice white flower and gets a dark reddish to purple berry more towards the fall that the birds love. Different varieties of willows. So this is actually a dappled willow. It has a variegated leaf, has some different white coloration along with light green. This plant will get you around 10 to 12 foot tall. This is a red twig dogwood, which has a great foliage. And actually in the winter time, the stems actually turn a real bright red. So it has a, a nice winter interest as well. So a few other plants that like wet conditions are certain varieties of grasses, which are sedge grasses, northern sea oats. Some fern varieties are sensitive fern, marsh fern, holly fern, painted fern. Some trees that would work good, dogwood, which is cornus alternifolia, bald cypress, the river birch is another great addition. These types of plants can be utilized in many different situations. So you can have these along a pond edge, you can have them in a rain garden or just in a wet spot in your yard. There's more than just putting plants into the ground when you're installing a rain garden, such as the distance from the house to the rain garden, how you're getting the water to that specific spot in the yard, soil types and the light requirements for the plants. If this is too much for you to take on yourself, our landscape team can do it for you. That's gonna wrap up our video today on plants for wet areas and rain gardening. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop out or give us a call at Bedner's Farm and Greenhouse.